Hi, dear friends and colleagues. Welcome to Q&A. Today's hard talk about EGDIS display settings. When you sell this EGDIS, you must use official electronic charts. But uh, what are the criteria for official ENC? To be an official ENC, chart first needs authorization by a national government agency, like the National Hydrographic Office. And secondly, it should meet the ISO specifications. Only national authorities may authorize the ENC because they are responsible for creating, collecting and preparing such information. Also, we need to understand that the official ENC is produced by the Hydrographic Office or on behalf of IHO by a contracted third party. The IHO defines a uniform data exchange format, which we call as S57, the transfer standard for hydrographic data. The document in its Appendix B contains ENC product specifications which must be followed by all member states to produce and distribute official vector charts. S57 is an internationally recognized format under the brand Electronic Navigation Chart. According to performance standards, EGDIS may use a raster chart if a voyage is taken in areas not covered by official INCs, and uh, it works in RCDS mode in that case. Also, S61 gives a piece of information about the specification of raster charts. The way ENC appears on the screen is specified in another IHO standard, known as S52 Colors and Symbols Specifications for EGDIS, where Annex A is called Presentation Library, equipment that operates with chart data, to be called EGDIS, must not just be able to display chart data stored on it but also it must support a whole range of navigational functions to efficiently use chart data. That's why IMO has developed a performance standard to describe the minimum functional requirements for the EGDIS. We have a separate video about EGDIS performance standard and you are welcome to watch it on Q&A. To ensure that EGDIS equipment is of appropriate robust marine design and intended for onboard use. It must pass type approval and test procedures developed by the International Electrotechnical Commission, known as IEC, which is based on IMON and IHO requirements. Except for proper functioning, the EGDIS under test must demonstrate acceptable protection of the chart data against illegal manipulation or unintended corruption. For this purpose, EGDIS should meet the regulations of the S63 IHO Data Protection Scheme standard. ENC isn't a paper chart, and how it is displayed on EGDIS depends on equipment presetup. I mean, how colors, patterns, or symbols show the EGDIS on board. EGDIS stores the information about how to display the chart. I mean, how colors, patterns, or symbols shown for the EGDIS on board. EGDIS stores the information about how to display the chart separately in the so-called presentation library, which is designed by the S52 IHO appropriate publication. We know the name for it, Colors and Symbols, Specifications for EGDIS. INC is a database, but not a scanned copy, 
of a paper chart opposite to its symbol shapes and colors together with presentation rules for areas and conditional topics of the chart are contained as lookup tables in a separate software module. The correct symbols are picked up by the system from the presentation library following the characteristics of each object when loading the data of the C area to be shown on the screen. The colors contained in presentation library are defined in a manner of independent of the monitor in use. The standard procedure for color calibration of monitors ensures that the electronic chart display is appropriate for chart display purpose on equipment of different producers. Exits should always use the latest available presentation library. The version of presentation library is always subject to checks during inspections on board. Exit data can be presented in many different ways, depending on the environmental conditions, the stage of your voyage, and your vessel's parameters. With so many options, the user has to be able to apply appropriate settings to his exits. By doing so, the information displayed will match the navigational situation at hand. In C is like a many layers pie, consisting of base, standard and other displays layers, which may be shown together or individually. The base display presents the minimum set of information, which must be always displayed and it is not allowed for navigator to use it for navigation purposes. It consists from coastline, at high water, oven ship safety counter, indication of isolated underwater dangers at a depth of less than the safety counter, which lie within the safe waters and defined by the safety counter. Bridges, overhead wires, etc. may be displayed on it. Scale, range orientation and display mode, units of depth and height. In C is like many layers pie, consisting of base, standard and other displays layers which may be shown together or individually. The base display presents the minimum set of information which must be always displayed. It is not allowed for navigation. Here is an example for such kind of layer. At the same time, the standard display consists uh, from the next amount of information. It contains additional information compared to the uh, base display and may be used for navigation already, as a minimum, of course, as a minimum setup, I mean. Here we have drying line, uh, boys, beacons and other aids to navigation, indication of fixed and floating aids to navigation unfixed structures, boundaries of fairways, channel, etc. Visual and uh, radar conspicuous features, prohibited and uh, restricted areas, chart scale boundaries, identification of cautionary nodes, ships uh, routing systems and ferry route, archipelagic areas, sea lanes, This standard display contains additional information 
compared to the base display and may be used for navigation as a minimum. But by the way, this layer doesn't include the depths or spot soundings for your chat. Here is an example for standard display overlay. The all layers display contains all information of the standard display and may additionally display on demand next categories like spot soundings, submarine cables and pipelines, ferry route, details of all isolated dangers, details of aids to navigation, contents of cautionary notes, in sea edition data, geodetic datum, magnetic variation, graphic hill, location names most recent chart update number the all layer display contains all information of the standard display and may additionally display some information on demand if you activate all parameters of this layer your chart may look overloaded here is an example for all layers overlay. The custom display is a feature in which the user selects the layers to be displayed. The custom display mode allows the user to choose which layers are to be displayed in addition to the standard display. The choice of layers should always be influenced by the specific navigation task in hand. Some uh, producers may offer to use the, the custom display. The custom display is a feature in uh, which the user selects the layers to be displayed. The custom display mode allows the user to, to choose which layers are to be displayed in addition to the standard display. The choice of layers should always be included by the specific navigation task at hand. Also, Agdis has day and night mode of presentation. One of the biggest advantages of an Agdis compared to a paper chart is a night mode. By changing the color palette and reducing the backlight of the screen, the officer of the watch can use Agdis and not be hindered by the brightness of the screen. The Agdis also provides a less bright display to be used during the dusk and dawn and at night inverted pellet. Agdis has preset up for simplified or a paper chart symbol. Be aware that if other than day color palettes are used, the colors of the presented data will change and may look different from what you are used to on a paper chart. The user may choose between traditional presentation with paper chart-like objects or display using simplified objects. Incidents that occurred in the past 
provide the evidence of the importance of the right contour settings. Wrong settings have resulted in several groundings because critical shallow waters were not identified by the watchkeeping personnel and no proper alert was either activated or triggered. Of all safety settings, the safety contour is the most important. Attention should be paid to the safety contour every time when you operate the egg. The default presetting is 30 meters in every egg and should be adjusted according to the procedure established by the company and the discretion of the master. If the contour is crossed by the plant track or if the vessel is moving towards or across the safety contour, an alarm activated which indicates that an area has been entered where UKC might have been violated. We have to mention that EGDIS is also adjustable on a shade scheme. It may display ENC in two or four shade scheme. When a two shade scheme is activated, depth areas are displayed in two colors. Areas of depths lower than safety contour are shown in blue in the day color code and safe and navigable areas in white. On EGDIS only the available depth contours can be displayed in INCs, which are defined by the chart produced in Hydrographic Office. If an enter contour value is between two available contours, the next higher value will be assumed by the EGDIS. Talking about safety contour, you need to understand that your EGDIS system can assist in the graphical presentation of navigable waters by using various depth contours to separate safe waters from non-navigable waters. You should set a safety contour value close to your vessel's maximum draft and according to your company navigational policy. The safety contour is displayed on your chart as a great bold line, separating navigable from non-navigable waters. The route check and alarm features will use the separation between navigable and non-navigable waters for alarm functionality. Furthermore, the overall display feature change according to the safety contour values. The safety contour display can only use depth contours already available in the chart. If you set a safety contour value of 8 meters and this contour is not available in your chart, the 10 meter safety contour will be displayed and used for triggering contour alarms. The 8 meter value is still used by the EGDIS for other alarm and display function, such as how to treat and display isolated dangers. The safety counter should not be set to a value less than the calculated, even through it leads to a higher counter value indicated on the chart. If the four shades depth scheme is activated, shallow and deep counter need to be defined, and the color pattern of the water areas is subdivided into more areas. It is recommended to set the shallow contour equal to the draft of the vessel plus an adequate squat value. In other words, it will indicate areas in which the vessel will run aground without the adverse factors that were included in the safety contour. This area is colored dark blue. The deep contour should be set to a value twice the vessel's dynamic draft, so that she can then run a full speed without being affected by obvious hydrodynamic effects. Look at the diagram. After proper egg setup, we have water areas that are navigable and not safe for navigation for our vessel area. Chart display depends on the setting done by the user and the limitation of EGDIS in C database.
The safety contour display can only use depth contours already available in the chart. If you set a safety contour value of 8 meters and this contour is not available in your chart, the 10 meter safety contour will be displayed and used for triggering contour alarms. The 8 meter values is still used by the Edges for other alarm and display functions such as how to treat and display isolated dangers. One more egg this uh, parameter which influence on the displayed data on the screen is uh, a safety depth. The safety depth refers uh, to the spot sounding. Soundings that are similar than the entered value are displayed in the chart in the black numbers. Soundings that are greater than the entered value are shown in gray. The calculation of the safety depth value is similar to the safety contour calculation. But unlike the safety contour, the safety depth will be displayed more precisely compared to the safety contour. This is because the safety depth parameter, this is because the safety depth parameter uh, refers directly to the spot soundings. The safety depth is used for the alarm and route checking functionality as well as the display of the depth soundings. A spot sounding more shallow than the safety depth value or more dangerous will be displayed in black color. A spot sounding deeper than safety depth which is safe will be displayed in gray. Spot soundings are only displayed on the chart when activated by using all or custom layers. The safety depth uh, can only be set independently to the same, less or a higher value than the safety contour. But good practice recommends mariners to set the safety depth equal to safety contour, but never less, but never less, but never less, but never less, but never less. One more parameter which we have uh, on display is isolated danger. Depending on the safety parameters, the display mode and the position of an object, its presentation style might change to indicate a danger. For example, let's overuse the isolated danger symbol. The symbol for an isolated danger will change depending on your safety contour settings. Safety contour setting is important. If the isolated danger has a safe passing depth less than your safety contour, it will be considered not safe to pass over and the top warning symbol will be in use. Top warning symbol. Top warning symbol. If the safe passing depth is more than your safety contour, the isolated danger becomes insignificant and it is only shown if selected in chart layers and according to the blue symbol. The same happens if the isolated danger lies in waters already declared non-navigable by the safety contour. Whenever the chart is displayed in its original scale, the symbols have to be displayed according to specific size requirements. This is also important part of the displayed information. All symbols have their specific dimensions. Remember that please. Symbols displayed according to their dimensions. The IHO standard S52 contains a specification for charge content and display a 
aspects of Exis, including guidance on updating the electronic navigational chart, color and symbol specification for Exis, symbol library for the Exis in use. Whenever the chart is displayed on its original scale, the symbols have to be displayed according to specific size requirements. What else to discuss here about displayed information in Exis? We need to say some words about scamming. On the left side approach chart, you can see the borders of a more detailed Hubbard chart. This is called a source break. As you start zooming in, all available objects will be displayed. The filtering of information at a certain scale is called scamming. Scamming. If it is activated, the chart will remain readable as you are zooming out. Not using scamming might clutter the screen as you are zooming out. Scamming is uh, some kind of filter for displaying of information. Scamming is a filter. When two shade scheme is activated, depth areas are displayed in two colors. Areas of depth lower than safety contour are shown in blue in the day color code, and the safe and navigable areas are in white. If the four shade depth scheme is activated, shallow and deep contour need to be de defined on two more areas, and two more areas subdivide the color pattern of the water areas. A shallow contour will indicate areas where the vessel will be ground. The area behind the shallow contour is dark blue. The safe navigable area is separated by a deep contour. This zone allows the vessels to run at full speed without being affected by obvious hydrodynamic effects. If the ENC database has the appropriate set of soundings for the sailing area, it is always recommended to use a four shade color scheme, which helps the navigator to stay on the safe side. And the last but not the least issue here is to remind navigators that contour is not an area. Contour is not an area. Contour is a line which divides zones of different colors of a charted area. We we'll slide the button for the next question already. But to help us, we need you to subscribe to the channel. And we hope your thumb is rising up for the like.